Well, hi there, folks. This is your host, ID Jester. Thanks for checking out my video. We're looking at all the heroes in Marvel Hero, and this is Blade. One of the newer heroes, not the newest, but I think he's um, not that old here in Marvel Heroes. So let's take a look at what he's got going on for him. For himself. Oh, we need to get a pet. Um, so we've got some nice items for him. Looks like they've all been properly upgraded and seem like they're doing okay. You see we're talking about Serm and Starving and Signature. Uh, these are things that we're going to talk about when we get to Bowers. We actually gave him a, a legendary item because he's a pretty good character. Uh, not bad. And you can see we're in the process of leveling him up. Gave him the Relic of Atlantis there for some extra critical damage rating. I actually ended up getting him um, one of our rare blessed gems of the curse and the blessed hand of doom and the advanced metasensory array all with blessings of Hila. we put this item in there uh, just as a placeholder uh, to give him something it doesn't have a blessing on it yet i'm waiting to see if we want to give him something else or what we're going to do with this slot and we're using the curse medallion because He's mostly melee, melee, melee movement, melee area bleed, melee, signature melee, melee area, melee, and a passive buff, what we're going to talk about when we get to his powers. So he's pretty decked out uh, as far as his core goes. Not too bad. Damage rating with melee, plus one to strength, special item fine. So that's all good. Um, as a matter of fact, we might actually have a few Omega points that we need to spend because it's actually been a little while since we played him. Looks like we can add a couple more Warpath there and crank up his fighting just a little bit more. Get that extra brutal damage. And uh, put some more points into Frenzy for the melee attack. Alright, we'll get to that in a second. Anywho, um, I just noticed his numbers seemed a little bit low there. We'll have to check his Omega stats. Um, so yeah, he's pretty decked out. We do have the power dupe there for the physical damage, brutal, brutal damage rating. So when he does brutal hits, um, he's going to do some pretty good damage. Damage reduction 41% seems about average. Damage 5696 seems a little bit slightly lower than normal. So we'll have to see how all that plays out. Again, these numbers don't take into consideration all of your hidden stats. Uh, like, you know, when you use a serum, game plus two to all your attributes for 10 seconds. Um, so, a lot of that hidden stuff isn't in our stats. And that seems to be pretty standard for a lot of the newer heroes. Stat-wise, critical hit rating 45.9%. Really respectable there. In fact, our melee, which is what we normally attack with, is 48.3%. Our Brutal Strike rating's at 50.7, and that's without another Blessing. So his uh, his stats are right where they need to be. If we had another Blessing on there, of course, our Brutal Strike rating would be 55.7. So that's nice. Critical Damage of 246. Brutal Damage of 458. So pretty good numbers there. Uh, we are using um, Insignia of Daredevil. Um... Probably not the best option, but it seemed to be working okay for him. And I do need to get his... Uh, actually, his costume is set up with critical damage rating and also attack speed. And there is a reason for that, which we're going to look at when we look at his power. So let's go ahead and do that. I need to remember to get him a pet before we go into anything. So his mechanic is... Uh, you know, all the heroes that have been coming out recently have got some kind of special mechanic. Uh, his mechanic is Thirst, and uh, it's going to be increased when he's in combat. Increasing his desire to feed when Thirst reaches its full, Blade becomes starving, reducing damage output, causing a bunch of problems, and blah, blah, blah. You activate the Serum to eliminate the Thirst. So, obviously, the Serum is a nice passive boost, really good number-wise, uh, but more importantly, you have some options with it. We are choosing the Never Slated, which means we our thirst is increased by 100% faster. And when we are starving, 
we start to take our damage to our health. So our health starts going down really fast. And what we're kind of test. Some oh. kind of sick joke. Hey buddy, just wait a second. And as uh as our damage is or as our health is going down, what we want to do is we want to hit some people and do some damage and get some bloodlust going on. So when we hit an enemy while we're starving, so we need to get that up to 100% and then start starving. We're going to take a health hit, uh, but what we're trying to do is get a stack of bloodlust, which we can get up to 10 stacks, and then we activate the serum, and we're going to get a huge boost to our damage, our critical and brutal strike damage. So you can see if we had a hundred, or if we had 10 stacks, we would get critical and brutal damage of 100% because we'd have 10 stacks at 10% each for 8 seconds so that's really good so that's what we try to do we try to really and it's kind of a do or die situation as our health goes down and we try to get as many stacks as we can and sometimes we get as we get up to 10 sometimes we don't it just depends on how low our health goes our normal attack is by any means necessary it is not a basic attack so it does cause spirit and while the serum is active we get extra damage and attack speed so for those um, was it eight seconds is that what it was I forget what the I think it's eight seconds is what it is so for eight seconds we're gonna get extra damage and attack speed and we have a nice lunge forward power over here the deadly dash um, gives us some dodge rating for five seconds which is nice uh, then we have the whiplash power which is a physical attack and it causes grievous wounds grievous wounds is important because of um, those items we were looking at had some some effects going on every time we have a grievous wound and then we have our toxic loaded gauntlets hard to say toxic loaded gauntlets uh, and these will actually do extra damage against uh, enemies with grievous wounds. So, obviously, our enemies will take 33% extra damage from grievous wound power. So, we want to activate this and then stab them a bunch of times with our lip lash. Uh, our signature power is here advanced technique. Pretty good signature power. I uh, can activate it up to three times within six seconds. First time you become invulnerable, the second time you do like a slashing damage, and the third time is like a um, one big hit at the end there. There's like a, a three little slash thing that comes out. Um, and so that's kind of a cool, it does have a 45 second cooldown. We use Party Crasher, kind of our little jump around and come crashing down on the enemy's power. Enemies will take an additional 10% damage for 8 seconds. Uh, and it does have a six second cooldown. It does share its cooldown with this, so obviously um, keep that in mind. And then lastly, for our powers, we have Stake Through the Heart, which is going to do extra damage against bleeding enemies, which happens to be our Whiplash power, so works well with this combination going to here and coming down there. And then, of course, last but not least, we have the Serum that we activate. To get those boon, the, get those effect, ugh, active effects going on. Omega system wise, um, let's see what we got going on in here. What is taking up all of our points? Ah, uh, huh. I see. We went down this tree. Um, you know what? Let's go ahead and. Um, Let's just go back to a little bit normal build for now. I can always try that again later. I was trying something a little bit different with him uh, just to see what would happen. But we're going to kind of concentrate on our normal uh, kind of build here. Let's get that extra da uh, critical damage rating there. Get some spin tech going on here. These points go so quick. I'm telling you. Um, hmm. Uh, hmm. This should give us a little bit better stats like what we're used to seeing there. Uh, Hero Synergy we are using. Oh, hmm. Black Panther. 
Blade, Cable, Colossus, Daredevil, Hawkeye, Luke Cage, She-Hulk, Squirrel Girl, Wolverine. Some of these are just not making a lot of sense for me right now. I'm wondering why I was choosing those. Obviously, I was trying something a little bit different. So we're going to get rid of Daredevil, and we're actually going to take War Machine. Um, and he doesn't have any ranged attacks. They're all melee. Okay. Uh, so we definitely want to get um, um, Moon Knight and Nightcrawler. So we need to give up two more. Probably. Let's see. Hmm. We can give up Black Panther and Colossus. And we'll go with Moon Knight and Nightcrawler. I think that's a better combination. All right. So let's see how Blade works out. He's got a nice, quick, fast dash. He swings his little sword as he does it. Awesome. All right. So let's take a look and see what he can do. Oh, yes. Again, I forgot to talk about it. Just stay down. Um, physical damage, 222,000. Uh, 18 hits. And then it throws out a grenade at the end, which does a big thing, stuns enemies, and gives you plus 5 strength and speed for 20 seconds. Uh, and it always deals a critical hit. So you're invulnerable for the duration. So, pretty interesting little power there. It's Pick just up that ring. Space raccoon. For a second there, I thought werewolf by night ate some pim particles. So, our, just our normal attack is something that looks like this. We'll just do a normal attack a little bit here, so you guys can see what it looks like. We'll kill this guy. Just kind of slashes his sword around a little bit. Then, of course, we have our whiplash power, which is this power here. You can see we're starving. So we're down here in the corner. You can see we've got five stacks going on. You see our health is going down. So eventually, we're going to need to activate that serum. Hopefully, we can get up to a nice, a nice number here. We're going to go ahead and activate our serum. So for eight seconds, we'll have a nice buff, but. Um, not the best opportune time to do that. So here's some more whiplash power there. Yeah, right. Uh, this is a melee. Okay, that is. All right, now our signature power here. One, two, and he's dead. You see, we're starting to starve again already. So we're trying to get through stacks up. We've got 10 stacks, so we can go ahead and activate it now. Unfortunately, we're not in the best position to attack anybody, but let's go over and get some boss selection going on here. And see how we do with the bosses here. All right, let's get through stacks worked up there. All right. So that was a million right there. One, two, three. I think it was a four million covered up. Um, there was a nice 1.9 million. Oh, are we start starve already? No, I think we just took a hit. There's another million we're doing there. Stab him in the heart. Two million there. Taking a lot of damage, actually. There's a 1.9 million. We are in a bad way here. All right, one, two, three. Our signature power. We do have to activate it three times, though. Serum, serum. So it's kind of a risk-reward situation. How much are you willing to res risk to get that extra bonus damage? We do seem to have several powers that'll give us a nice million dollar, uh, million dollar. I always say million dollar. Why is that? A million uh, point crit damage. Uh, 
One, two, three. Up to eight stacks, nine stacks, ten stacks. Now we'll activate it. There are fools that think I'd let you win. Nice. Nicely done. Nice damage. He does a really good amount of damage, actually, with this uh, current setup he's got. So, And he's going get, to keep getting better as we get that legendary uh, item upgraded. Oh, yes, this power is actually a uh, hold down power. I almost forgot about that. The uh, blood whiplash. So what we want to do is hit him with the gauntlets and um, then use your whiplash because... Uh, enemies will take 33% extra damage from Grievous Wound Powers. This is a Grievous Wound Power, so... So if they survive the Gauntlet Punch... Let's go after 8-Man uh, here. So we'll hit him with the Gauntlet Punch. You see we're just... getting up. There's a 2.7 million... Oh, good. There's a 4.5 million. There was a 2 million. And those were three different powers that I used, folks. So, he does a nice bit of damage. And we're going to kill him pretty quickly without much problems. We do, like I said, it's um, he is very risky with his um, health. So the more health you can give him, uh, the better off you're going to be. That's nice. I like that power very much. Little whiplash. You can really take the trash out with that because it does a nice, just a nice, look at this, generating three points. We're up to three. We're going to activate our serum. We're not really in a position to do a mass amount of damage anyway, so we might as well just not risk dying. Where are we at? Uh, yep, we're starting to starve here, so... Oh well, we don't need people. We need to just kill enemies right now. So you do uh, get a nice uh, health boost there when you uh, activate your serum. You get um, you generate 100% of your health and spirit. So you can get all the way down to like one hit point left. Doesn't matter. You get it all back when you activate the serum. So how are we doing? Oh, we just have a few seconds here before bosses show up. They are starving, so let's go ahead and. Nice amount of damage there. Let's get these civilians out of here. So just we stay bleeding as long as we want. The advantage of that is actually um I'll destroy everything if it means I have my vengeance. Where are these guys? All the way up front, really? The advantage of that is we get all of our spirit and health back when we activate the serum, so... so we'll go ahead and activate it. Invulnerability. Our first attack, there was a 4 million and a 1 million, and then a 4.6 million, so... He does a ton of damage, as you can see. Um, up to 6 stacks. 7 stacks, 8 stacks, 9 stacks. Now we will uh, wait till we're in position, activate it. Alright, there we go. There's a 1 million and a couple guys there. A little stake to the hard action is always a good one to use. And activate this. 
another two million there. Alright, activate it. Boom. There's a four million on a couple of them, another 1.3 million. He's a beast, as you can clearly see. He does a nice amount of damage. Very nice. I could not ask for anything more. Hopefully they don't nerf him. Alright, hit him with the gauntlets. Uh, did I... Oh, they're dead. They're dead. They are dead. Let's get four more Odin marks there. Get rid of that. Get rid of this. Alright. So let's see if we can find some more enemies here. Let me tell you, when you're playing 53 different heroes and you're just trying to get the power situated out, it's not easy to just jump right in and go, oh yeah, this is this is what I want to activate and then there and then get it all worked out perfectly during the session. Hey, we need this guy. Get out of here. So sometimes I occasionally hit the wrong power, but hopefully it doesn't happen too often. Alright, activate it. Boom, boom, boom. And we completed our uh, quest again there. Yeah, that whip west is so good. Uh, let's go ahead and activate our power so I can check this. Make sure we're always working towards getting us uh, Odin Marks. It's the only way we're going to get all these heroes to get some items and some blessings. And I just spent uh, 200 on, uh, who was it? Um, Psylocke, our last hero. I spent 200 upgrading her. Uh, giving her some blessings, so. They're up to only three? Okay. Up to six. Let's go fight her. Eight, nine, ten. There we go. 4.5 and then a 4.4 million. That's like nine million we just did there. So you can see the difference between the haves and the have-nots in this is so big. When I play some of the heroes and we just don't do any damage whatsoever, it's just so sad. And I don't know why they can't update them faster so that they're not such a big difference between hero powers. I mean, the new mechanic is kind of this this mechanic that we looked at um, with uh, who was it that we just looked at uh, War Machine a couple episodes ago and uh, the new mechanic that they're using and they should be updating all the heroes quickly with that new mechanic uh, where you're taking a power and then you're giving players choices War Machine actually has two of these so there's so many different choices that you can start using. Ah, let's use our serum here. Oh, I almost died. Let's go ahead and head back up here. I should have stopped and got these civilians, but... Alright, so let's go ahead and use our gauntlets. We can just... Have to use my serum here. One, two, three. Oh, that's a nice 2 million damage. Stick in the heart, please. Whoa. Do all the damage you want, buddy. It's not going to help you. Ah. Uh, am I the only hero over here? I just... Oh, it looks like there's other heroes. Okay, just want to make sure. 
give him our gauntlets there. One, two, three, two point eight to four point six million. You know, that's like <laughs> it's like six or eight million we just did in this just a few seconds there. And there's other heroes that like you're doing ten thousand points of damage. Twenty thousand, a hundred thousand. Uh, let's not starve to death. Let's not starve to death, shall we? Whoa, what are you doing? Um, yeah, so let's see what else we got going on here. Have, oh, we haven't activated his ultimate power yet. We should probably do something like that. I mean, just his little basic kind of attack game. kicks are doing three to four hundred thousand. There's a one million for our... Oh, get off of that. Risk reward. We're going to risk a lot here. We're going to try and. We're up to seven ranks. I'd like to find a, a boss here. Looks like we're finding one here. Where is she? Come here, you. 8, 9, 10. Now we'll activate it. Alright. Signature power. 4.9, 2.3, and a 3 million. Back to back to back. Just use our whip blast to get rid of all this stupid trash. She's already severely wounded, that's for sure. Yeah, Blade is definitely one of the most powerful heroes in the game at this point. Definitely a A plus hero if you are looking for a damage dealer there's a million for our just normal attack he's a beast that is for sure he is a beast I have a feeling they're going to nerf a few of his powers because some of them just seem like they're over good. The ability to get all your health back, I mean all your health and spirit back by activating a one power. Are you kidding me? Every other hero in the game would love to have that power. You see, we're not running out of spirit, we're not running out of health, except for, well, when we have to activate our serum. serum. Um, let's use our little crash down. You know, that was 1.8 million on a couple guys. So we got at least four, maybe five powers that do over a million points of damage. Um, that means <laughs> that hero is doing a lot of damage. You can constantly do over a million points. Are you kidding me? The difference between the haves and the have-nots is getting bigger and bigger. Look at some of the other heroes we've done. They would love to be able to restore all their health by hitting it. That's, oh shit, he moved. God damn it. Ah, uh, come on. That was not very good. That's still 1.8 million, but not... I'm used to seeing a lot bigger numbers. Come on now. Alright, so we got to our 10. So now we're going to be doing some extra crazy damage. It's just... Are you kidding me? I'm going to be doing 100% extra brutal damage and critical hit rating. Are you kidding me? Activators. Ultimate power. Here we go. So he's just like crazy, just shooting special bullets or whatever it was. He was shooting out of his gun there. There's another 1.4, there's a 1.2. Let's activate our signature power here. 
two million and let's see if we can finish him off. Nope, not quite. Uh. Leap down in his face, three point three million. The leap down in his face, are you kidding me? Are you absolutely kidding me? That is just incredible. Absolutely incredible. And then I'm invulnerable when I activate my signature power for six seconds. Are you kidding me? <laughs> it seems, you know, he seems broken. There's just so <laughs> many good things with him. I just, it's incredible. Um, and the only, you know, the only deficit is the fact that you can bleed, you know, starve yourself to death. Well, how often is that going to happen? I mean, all you have to do is activate your serum, so. And it's got like an 8 second cooldown, so I get all my health back every 8 seconds? Are you kidding me? And all my spear back? I mean, that's just <laughs> insanely good. Um, you know, and then the passive effect is huge. You know, 2,500 health. Um, we just looked at, who was it? I think we were looking at, maybe it was Squirrel Girl. And it was, um, you know, they were giving her like 568 health. And I'm like, that number's way low. Uh, you know, compared to this, we're getting 2,500. A defensive rating of 2,200. Uh, we regenerate 100% of our maximum health and spirit uh, oh, that's when we're defeated. I'm sorry. Uh, I guess I should have read the next line. <laughs> um, but we gain Constitution Active. Uh, regenerate 15% of your maximum health on any use. And an additional 30% if you are starving. So we would get 45% back. And we restore 20% 20 20 of our maximum spirit. So, yes. Still. Okay, I must have misread that. Yes. I apologize for that. But uh, it's still crazy good. Look at this. I mean, this is crazy good. I was going to say, if I'm getting 100% back, that just was way, 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 way out of whack. Way out of whack. But still just getting, uh, you know, 45% back every 8 seconds. Or as often as I want to, you know, activate it. That's just... Oh, we need to check our... We just completed our... Legendary quest. I don't even worried about the stacks, to tell you the truth. Um, which button am I looking at? This one. Oh, good. Super villains. Sounds like a plan. We'll go after some super villains here. Um, I mean. Uh, there will be four of them right here. We'll go after these guys. Alright, now, don't move anywhere. Let me punch you with the gauntlets. There we go. We can use this and we'll activate our... Get rid of all the trash. Do some extra damage there. We're crashing down on them. Stake them in the heart. We got our 10 stack steps. So we'll activate our serum here. <laughs> 20, 10, 20 bunches with our thing. Half of them, I think, were over a million. <laughs> God. Oh my God. He is crazy good. Activate the serum. Get that health back. Oh my gosh. Sure. You could just imagine once we get them all the way upgraded here. That was a 4.5 million. Let's see if we can finish them all with a little bit better. Nope, doesn't look like it. Go 
Gauntlet Punch. Reactivate our CERN. He is just incredibly easy to play. Very good. Very good hero. Absolutely um, built properly. I think they have really, um, you know, the last couple of heroes that came out are really built well. Um, with, you know, the new mechanic of choosing some powers and then giving people different effects with these powers or you know some of them might give you boosts on some of your other powers it really gives you more leeway and uh, figuring out how to how to build your character more options which is you know always a good thing but uh, yeah <laughs> blade he is a, a man among boys in this game I tell you he is he's a definitely in the top five power rank power rankings without a doubt so definitely look at uh, look him up when you get in Marvel Heroes definitely get this hero and as far as his synergy goes I am let's just um, so it gives you health on any hit and it gives you a 3% attack speed bonus uh, one of his powers I believe or there's a couple powers um, the whiplash Extra 1% damage per 1% attack speed. So if we look at our attack speed, our attack speed is 26.5%. So we, that's why I actually left uh, grade 1 and grade 2 with the attack speed bonus there. Because the more attack speed we do, the more our whiplash power does. And that's also getting a bonus after we use our toxic loaded gauntlets. So we hit them with this. And then even the bosses are taking a massive amount of damage from our whiplash. So that's... A really good combo. Anyways, thanks for watching Blade in Action. Hopefully you enjoyed it. See you next time here at Marvel Heroes.